Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the wisdom, the will, the words to speak, and the Lord, may they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Yeah. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I have a special guest with me today. His name is Gary, and he's from Gator 1111. And was he surprised, even shocked, when he came to visit me, and he found out that my address is 1111. <laughs> yes. God works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? So, Gary, do you have anything to say? Oh, I'll let you go first. Okay. Yes, sir. I just want to remind people that, that we are in the last days. And mockers and scoffers, they abound. And our family, they tease us. They make fun of us. And we try to tell them, we try to warn them that these are the last days. But they just can't see it. I don't, I don't understand why. It's, it's so obvious to me. I mean, there's signs everywhere. There's signs in the stars and the sun and the moon. S signs in the heavens. There's signs everywhere. You know, the love of many wax cold. You know, Israel is now uh, about ready to go to war, it looks like. They're being uh, attacked well, by terrorist attacks. There's just signs everywhere. There's signs in everything. The economy is about ready to collapse. They're talking about it on the news. And now they're talking on the news that famine is coming. So, if that doesn't wake people up as to what hour it is, the lateness of the hour, then I don't know what it'll take. I've made videos, others have made videos warning people, but some, some will open their eyes, some will see, but others, they refuse to see, they refuse to hear. And all we can do is plant the seed and pray that the Holy Spirit water that seed and pray that their eyes be opened to the lateness of the hour. And Bobby and I, we want you to know that, that we pray for you. We pray for you. And I know that a lot of people right now are having hard times, but we're so close. We're so close. Any minute. Any minute. Any day. Any hour. And like I've told you before, I quit counting days. I count hours now. So, do you have anything to add? Just that I always tell my subscribers the same thing. Jesus is coming very soon. Keep looking up. Romans 10, 9 through 13. Time is very, very, very short. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow as it is. Amen. And I've seen a lot of people come and say, well, I'll get saved after the rapture happens. And that's a scary thing to think because God is the one who sends the delusion. Anybody can fall for that in tribulation. You're not guaranteed to be saved in tribulation. It's a scary thing, very scary thing. I, uh, I, have, I have seen the tribulation. I haven't seen it all. Nobody's seen it all. But I've seen little bits and pieces here and there, dreams. And I, I've had a multitude of dreams. Some of them were like snapshots. Some of them were like short little videos, just a few seconds long. But some of them were several minutes long. And everything that I saw of the tribulation is just absolute horrific. It's horror magnified by horror, unspeakable horror, unbelievable horror. And when you say, and when you think, things could not possibly get any worse, they will. They will. And that's, that's the tribulation. That's what's coming. But you don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through the tribulation. All you have to do is repent of your sin and beg Jesus to come into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Beg that the blood of Jesus wash over you, wash all your sin away, wash you clean, wash you white as snow and just get in the will and grace of Jesus Christ and read his word in the King James Bible. For it is the inspired true word of God. And I, I, I pray, Bobby and I, we pray for each and every one of you. 
we pray for each and every one of you. And I know that there are many that, that request prayer for me, and we do pray for you. We do pray for you. But the only way, the only way to escape what's coming upon, the, upon this earth is to not be here. As in being raptured, that's the only way. Because other than that, if you decide to stick around for the tribulation, it's going to be unbelievable, unbelievable horror. And I've seen it. It's already an amazing thing that, of course, we know Jesus came and died on the cross for our sins and was buried and rose again on the third day. And how people can reject that is beyond me. But we're told that it will happen. Looking back on my life growing up, I can see where I rejected it also. But glory to God that I came to Him when I did. But truly, He came for me when He did. And saved me out of what I was in. God is good and He's always been good. And y'all, Mr. Lamb is too humble to say, but I would ask y'all to pray for him for his needs, please. Uh, being around him today is truly sad to see. So please, please, please pray for him. Um, and give him strength in his knees. I, uh, I, I'm being led. I'm being led in a direction of Azusa Street. And I need to pray on this because I, I think in these last days, I think a revival is coming. The revival only might only last for a few days. It might only last for maybe a couple weeks or so. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm being reminded of Azusa Street. And I'm being reminded of Acts 2 and 17. And in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a move of God. But we're not promised that. We're not promised that. But as Azusa Street, the power of God was so prevalent in that building. Azusa Street Revival started in 1906. And in that building, the power of God was so thick. It was like a fog inside the building. And, and they had the fire department called on that building numerous times because people in the neighborhood thought that it was on fire. The Holy Spirit power was so strong and so prevalent. It looked like flames coming out of the top of the building. It looked like a smoke coming out of the top of the building. And, and they was fire. They was fire. People would look in the windows and see fire. And people were falling out in the spirit, speaking in tongues. It was a miraculous time. These are the times that are, that are promised to come again. And so we pray that God's will be done. God's will be done. Whatever it is, God's will be done. That's my prayer. And Bobby and I, we pray for you. Do you have any last words? No, sir. Just keep looking up, church. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. We keep all of you in our prayers. We keep all of you in our prayers. Bobby and I, if you hear my voice, we pray for you. God bless you. God keep, keep you each and every one. And I am still building water filters and mailing them up. God bless you, each and every one. Amen.